everyone. Welcome. Happy Memorial Day weekend if uh, you're here in the U.S. So welcome. Okay, so this is a Memorial Day reading being that we have a holiday right here. I've already chosen decks. I've got five decks out here. Um, they're all sort of like, I'll say, magically themed, uh, just oracle cards. And there's a couple of angel ones, a fairy one. Oh, excuse me, a fairy tarot, but it's similar to an oracle deck, um, which is wisdom. So I just, I, I, I don't know. I was looking at all my decks and I was like, all right, you're sticking out to me. You're sticking out to me. I got to use you. So I don't know what messages are coming up. I'm going to start with the Angel Tarot. This was the first deck that um, I was like called to a few minutes ago. So I'm just going to shuffle, ask the cards what we need to know for today and this week ahead. I'm going to pull three. I feel called to pull three. And of course, you guys can ask for an answer to a question that you may have. And hopefully it comes up in this reading. All right. So first and foremost, Queen of Air. Hopefully I can get it for you without the glare. Not too bad, right? It says on the bottom, Objective decision-making, clearing away all that no longer serves you, seeing the humor in a situation. So I love that, especially that second sentence, okay? Clearing away, you know, all that no longer serves you. I know that's a personal message for me. I've been, I've been getting a lot of um, messages, you know, when I pull cards for myself, I've been getting a lot of messages to release, let go, move on, like just, yeah letting go of what no longer really works for you anymore. Um, for a lot of you, I'm actually relating this in regards to like your heart center. Um, this could be beliefs, opinions that you've had from like past, I'll say relationships, um, whether it's romantic or friendly, familial, you know, work, whatever, whatever. But to me, it's just this sense of like, okay, what has happened in the past is, it, and it may feel like it's come back around, but it's different this time, okay? You have to look at things from a different perspective. You can't be looking at the situation at hand with the same set of eyes from like 10 years ago, okay? A lot of things have changed. A lot of things have grown and evolved, such as yourself, right, during that time. So, I feel like this card, it's like, you know, here she is holding a crystal ball. And to me, it's kind of like, you know, take inventory of inside you, whatever is going on inside you of what no longer works for you and no longer really speaks or resonates with you. Okay. And it could be in regards to anything. It doesn't have to be a relationship. It can be in regards to career. Maybe, maybe you keep feeling like, you know, you should be doing something because you're good at it. You know, you're great at it, but you don't have the heart for it. If you don't love it, if you don't even like it that much, I think that's telling you to let it go, right? So whatever it has to do with, to me, there is this sense like, don't feel like you have to go do something. Don't feel like you should go and do something. That puts a lot of stress, a lot of pressure on you, creates a lot of anxiety. I'm hearing very unnecessary. Literally, like, let go. Release what no longer is working, okay? It's wonderful energy to have right now. And I feel like especially with a lot of us, we're, you know, we're coming out of this whole quarantine period. And, you know, during the past couple months or so, a lot of us have been able to, well, hopefully, <laughs> look within, and that's not a bad thing because, I mean, there's always something that needs to be healed. You know, we're not Buddha. <laughs> Buddha's healed. He's enlightened. He's all good, right? We're not. There's always something that needs to be healed, needs to be acknowledged and accepted. All right. Um, so you guys have had some things to think about the past couple of months, two, three months. 
get rid of some of those things that no longer work, okay? Um, the other card that came up, now there's two other cards here, okay? So I'm just gonna go with those. Um, oh, hold on, I get a little notification that I wanna get rid of, okay. Ace of Earth, the inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts. I almost wanted to say important documents or decisions. Either way, same thing, right? You have to make a decision based on like maybe a contract that you have. Um, so I do, I'm very much drawn towards like, I mean, we're at the end of May anyways, but I'm very much drawn towards June for some of you. Um, just it is this inflow of money. Wonderful business ideas. Um, I feel like some of you are going to be partnering up with others. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You'll just need to kind of negotiate the terms and how you go about doing things. Um, okay, also with this, and this will be career related, there's going to be travel for some of you. It almost feels like overseas. I keep seeing like a body of water. So some of you definitely could be going overseas. And this does feel, like I said, feel career related, more so for work versus for pleasure. But hey, both. Um, there is just the sense of, now abundance comes in multiple forms, not just money, okay? So you have to really understand that. I feel for some of you, or a lot of you watching, yes, an influx of money, absolutely. Um, but there's also gonna be like an influx of love definitely of love that is in the air right now being that it's spring pollen is also in the air but love is in the air and i'm definitely really seeing it going into june um there's just an abundance i'm also feeling um there's going to be an abundance of um i want to say good health or just you really taking the time to manage your daily habits and you know what you're ingesting or okay what sort of activities and exercises are you doing or are you meditating maybe you need to actually do that instead like there is this sense of getting on this good health wavelength okay so ace of earth this is absolutely wonderful i love that it comes after the queen of air because i feel like it's like because of this because you're in this mindset of releasing it allows for the stuff that you really desire, like genuinely, authentically desire to come in, all right? And I mean, that goes with anything. You literally could be taking the time to, to throw away, like, you know, anything in your home, anything physical, right? To clean up your space. Do a little feng shui if you want to. Um, there is like, you know, clearing away gives room for greater stuff to come in, all right? So now the other card that goes with that, I love this, and this goes right with the second card, to a fire. You've come into your own, new partnerships or contracts continue to move forward. So like I said a few minutes ago, some of you are gonna be partnering up with another person, and I do feel that is in regards to a business venture, okay? I had also mentioned that, oh, love is in the air, right? So this I also feel is sort of like either a strengthening of bonds between you and your person, or um, you meet your person, all right? So things coming together, and I mean, this is just this, this is just part of the abundance. This is just part of the abundance, okay? This is almost like you guys got homework, but you have to do this first. You have to get in the mindset of releasing whatever you need to release, okay? I feel like intuitively, really, you know what you need to release, even if it's physical, material things, or if it's more internal, um, emotional things, mental things. Maybe you have to release like your own self-talk. Maybe you're, you don't communicate to yourself very well, very nicely, right? So I feel like homework, act like this queen of air, get your shit together, get it out. <laughs> because once you do, these are coming in for you, okay? I love that, yes. That is some damn good energy. And I believe we're at a new moon right now, right, in Gemini? I mean, we're, we're now in the zodiac sign of, Ge of Gemini, um, like in general. Um, I'm not too sure where the moon is in the sky. Could also be 
in Gemini, but I believe we're at a new moon right now, which is perfect because new moons are a great time to start projects, to start something. So if you want a project to start, reorganize your living space, your internal living space. Okay. All right. So I want to pull, okay. I'm just going to go with where I'm drawn, which is wisdom. Asking like what else we need to know, or is there anything? Ooh, okay. I love when cards fall out. That's generally a message people need to hear. This goes in regards to what I was saying a few minutes ago. Homeland Foundation. Okay, so two things. Number one, organizing. I mentioned getting rid of clutter, like, like changing up your physical space, feng shui, what have you. Okay, so some of you are gonna be nesting. Ooh, some of you may be expecting a little one on the way. Yay, congrats to you guys. So your homeland will be expanding. Good. Uh, for others, you're clearing out. Clearing out what no longer works for you. Maybe you're actually in the process of like selling a home and moving into a new one. Perfect. Building like stronger roots, a stronger foundation, like this card says. Also, second thing, going back to what I said like five minutes or so ago, um, that some of you may be traveling. All right. I, I look at this. I mean, it's a map of a partial globe, whatever, it's a map. To me, like crossing waters, and maybe some of you are actually relocating, okay? You're, you're going to a new homeland, and that's fine. Some of you may only be traveling for a short amount of time. That's okay too. Either way, I love this card. You're building a foundation for what you want, okay? Regardless of if it involves the travel, regardless of if it's actually just sprucing up your home or if you're nesting, you are building up the foundation that you want. I love that. I love that. Um, I want to pull another card, but it's funny because I'm seeing that same deck in my mind, but I'm also actually seeing the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins deck. All right, so I'm going to shuffle this deck, have it in my hands, I feel like also with this Homeland uh, Foundation card, a lot of you are really protected right now, okay? Like, don't try not to fear the worst, okay? Don't go to the worst case scenario in your mind because it's not going to happen. You're protected. Alchemy, you have the Midas touch right now, and every project you begin turns to gold. Yes! You don't believe that. I sort of almost feel like make this like your mantra. Make it like an affirmation. You know, repeat to yourself. If you want, repeat it after me right now. I have the Midas touch right now. Every project I begin turns to gold. I feel like maybe even like say that in your mind, like write it down on a piece of paper even and, and say it to yourself like before bed and like put it in your pillowcase, okay? So that you're sleeping with it so you don't lose it or anything. I have the Midas touch right now. Every project I begin turns to gold. I feel like you just need to like envelop this sense. And I mean, it goes along with this. I talk about the influx, the inflow of abundance. Well, that's part of this. Whatever you want to create right now in your life, whatever that is, whether it's a relationship with someone else, whether it's actually like a hobby, maybe you want to start learning a new hobby, whether you, you want to create a life of travel you, or you want to create a, a, a life in a new location. You want to create a new job. To me, it's just, it's, there's a lot of energy around you right now. And like I said, you're protected. So really, I feel like take this quite literally that anything you start, or anything you begin, you know, as long as you take that first initial step forward, oh, you got it. It's already in the bag. It's just a matter of divine timing. All right? Like, keep that in mind. Oh, I love it. Oh, my God. I love these messages. I'm so happy I just, like, chose these decks. <laughs> Let me see what else we got. I'm going to go back to the witch's wisdom. Broomstick. Clearance. 
Oh my God, this is just repetitive at this point. I don't want to have to keep telling y'all, get rid of shit, all right? That is just straightforward right there. Clearing out, clearing out. I don't, I don't, I don't need to say much more than that. I really don't, I really don't. I'm gonna pull another card from this to see what goes with it. Wouldn't it be funny? <laughs> it literally said the same thing. Okay, father healing. Your personal power increases as you give any father related issues to heaven. Okay, so in regards to, so that's the card, nice colorful card. I love it. So I, I can't quite tell if the sun is actually setting or coming up either way though. Um, I like that it's there because it's shedding light on a situation. So I feel like, okay, if, if you do have a father related problem, um, then okay, this is kind of like confirming to you now is a good time to really try to like evaluate it and, and try to heal from it. Okay. Even if something triggers you, triggers actually are not a bad thing. Triggers are meant to show you what needs to be healed. Triggers are wonderful. They really are. It's what needs to be healed. You just have to acknowledge it and accept it and then heal from it. But, you know, if you're having a father related issue, look at that. Um, what I also feel with this though, uh, you, you, there's a two, okay, two things. There could be a family issue going on right now. Family issue, a dynamic. Maybe you just actually need to step away from it. Okay, but just don't involve yourself into it. There's just too much drama. Um, just, just don't, just don't involve yourself into it. Okay, don't even give an opinion. It's just gonna sweep you under. Um, what I also get with this though um, doesn't have to be family related, but a, a significant male in your life. Okay, whether it's a partner, um, a well, I'll say a brother, um, just. A, a really close friend or you know maybe a boss um, just a male I don't want to say authority figure but just um the one of the main males in your life okay I feel like I'm very see now it's interesting I don't know if it's because I've been talking so far obviously this whole time but my throat feels a little constricted at the moment so I feel it's like you need to have a conversation you need to open up the lines of communication in regards to something between you and whoever this strong male character is in your life, okay? Um, release whatever you need to. Release your throat chakra, and okay? And speak whatever, whatever you're keeping in, okay? Just come undone. It's okay to come undone. Um, I'm going to pull from the fairy tarot. I consider this like a hybrid tarot oracle deck. Love it. I'm going to pull a few cards. These are all good cards, you guys. Okay, Four of Spring, be grateful. You have much to celebrate. Deep feelings of peace and happiness. A contented personal life. I feel like if, if a couple of, some of you had a question in regards to love, this is like sort of a confirmation, a validation, like it's coming in for you. So keep an eye on that. Your person's coming in. Um, it goes actually, I feel like a long, which one is it? No, oh, where's the other card? Well, it's part of it. It's part of the um, inflow of abundance, the two of Earth, the Ace of Earth, excuse me, but it's also part of this two of fire, like I had mentioned. You and another person coming together. So I really, really like that. That's wonderful. We also have here, so another four card, four of autumn. Manage your resources wisely, achieve a balance in how you spend and save money, help out those who are less fortunate. So what also, so yes, you know what, take all the, take those words literally, you know, use it as they apply. Um, but what I, what also sticks out to me is the word balance. And to me, it's kind of like balancing like your feminine and your masculine energy within yourself. Okay. So first clear out what no longer works for you. Doing so, it's gonna help either bring in more of a feminine energy for yourself or more masculine, whichever. Whichever you 
may be lacking a little bit in, it's gonna come in, okay? So, but what I also get with this, and it does, it goes with the four of spring, when I say like you and you know another person coming together, it's the balancing of energies, masculine and feminine. Now, gender does not apply. It does not matter if you're actually a female or a male, okay? In regards to relationships, one person, regardless of gender, is feminine. Another one is masculine. Like that's just, that's just how it is. That's the balance, okay? The universe is all about balance. So to me, I feel like your takeaway, at least with this one, really should be about creating a balance in your life, somewhere in your life, all right? Then we have here the three of autumn. Follow your passion when it comes to your career. Be the best at what you do, being compensated for your creative talents. Absolutely. And I had mentioned anyway, um, which card was it? Like starting projects. Which card was it? Was it the Ace of, was it the Ace of Earth? Alchemy? Alchemy. Whatever, whatever, anything you touch turns to gold, right? Whatever project you begin turns to gold. So I feel like this is going back to this, and I'm sorry if this reading is sort of jumping around. I mean, all the messages are kind of repeating each other, just sort of going back and forth between them. But this is saying, like, you know, now's a good time to start something. Whatever it is, start it. Learn all you can. Allow yourself the time and the patience to do so. And the motivation, okay? I mean, if you really want something, you're going to go and do it, right? You're going to go and get it. Just keep at it. Just keep at it. I love that. It's wonderful. I'm only going to pull one more card. I'm going to pull it from the Angel Dreams deck. Um, just to kind of wrap up this reading. I mean, everything's repeating itself, so... When that happens, it's kind of, the universe is kind of saying, like, pay attention to this. Like, we don't know what else to tell you. Pay attention to this, okay? So, like, what is one last message? Waning moon. Well, we are not in a waning moon right now. I'm pretty sure we're in a new moon. Introspection, self-inventory. See, that's repetitive. I pretty much told you at the very beginning of this reading, you need to take inventory of yourself. Introspect. See what needs to be brought up. You know what? I got to pull another card on that one. I do. I do. That's just repetitive. We need, some, we need something else. The cards are probably like, there isn't anything else. Amethyst. Psychic abilities, behavior patterns. Okay. Repeating myself. <laughs> so, all right, amethyst, first and foremost, is very healing, okay? Um, if you don't have an amethyst, oh, excuse me, go out and find one. They're easy to get. Um, amethyst is actually great to sleep with, like under your pillow, where I put things in my pillowcase so I don't lose it in the middle of the night or anything. Um, amethyst is really good for dream recall, to like, allow yourself to receive like universal downloads when you're sleeping. Um, might even get some vivid dreams with an amethyst under your pillow. Uh, but it definitely helps to enhance your psychic abilities. And the hair says behavior patterns, which goes with the self-inventory introspection card because it's like, that's what you need to take inventory of. What patterns, what beliefs, what behaviors have you been, um, have you been using for however long that literally no longer work anymore because guess what, you've grown up, right? So if physically and, and, you know, biologically you have grown up, get your mentality to follow suit, right? Amethyst can help you do that. One more. Oh, okay. That card wants to come out. Love this. High Council, Evolution, Information, Potential. This is all about growth growth like I can't like yeah this wraps up the reading nicely I mean you I start with this reading telling you guys you know release shit take inventory of yourself and release okay even if it seems scary it's really not that scary just release stuff okay because you're meant to evolve 
Change is inevitable. Change is constant. It is. Change will force itself upon you in your life if you're literally being that stubborn about it. It will force itself into your life. You need to evolve, okay? Make the process easier on yourself. I feel a lot of you are gonna be receiving a lot of downloads when you're sleeping, so kind of want to say try to pay attention to your dreams over the next few weeks. I know a lot of us have been having crazy vivid dreams lately. Expect that. I, I'm seeing like an influx of it. Um, some of you, <laughs> I just got the words wish upon a shooting star. <laughs> so I don't know. It's cloudy right now, but um, you know, hopefully wherever you're at, and if it's nighttime, if you see a shooting star, wish upon it. There's going to be some extra magical energy with it. Uh, but I do feel like some of you, I'm also very much drawn towards the star group, the Pleiades. Um, Google the symbolism behind them. I believe it's like the Seven Sisters is the Pleiades. Um, like I said, Google the symbolism. It's going to resonate with you on some level. Okay. All right, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you guys have enjoyed the, these messages. I know they're very repetitive, but it's what you need to know. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.